So no way are we going to get through the next example. This is the best way to start any video, just to tell people what you're not going to get. Make sure all expectations are set. But we're going to recreate Twitter. Whoa. So that's not going to happen in eight minutes, right? But uh, you can see, again, I'm taking what we did at boot camp. And this is like two or three days at boot camp. We just like said, let's recreate Twitter because they didn't do it for well enough. They didn't use Go. We're recreating. We'll sell it to them. Look, we recreated Twitter for you in Go. It's four times faster. It's way more performant. It scales much better. Do you want to buy it? Come on, Jack Dorsey. You got all kinds of money. So uh, breaking it out into steps. And I got all the way up to like uh, a lot of the design stuff and started putting in Julian Schmitz. I had some questions. You know, like uh, using App Engine, but then I want to use Julian Schmidt's router. And then should I also, how do I do my sessions? Because when we were talking about sessions, we said there's a couple of ways we could do it. I thought my note was in there. Maybe it's in here. Here it is. Right? When we were talking about sessions, we said, hey, there's three ways to do sessions. And Caleb said this at boot camp. And so he's my mentor. Must be the truth. One of my mentors, but please let me know, Daniel, if you know something else. But you can use just Google, right? And uh, okay, cool. And that's what we've seen. And you're logging in with your Google account. And when Corey sent his over, I was like, oh, cool. I totally want to do this. And I'm like, I'm going to, and it's like, do you want to use your Todd McLeod account for this website? And I was like, what? I don't know. What's Corey going to do with my email? Can he see my email? Wait, he emailed this to me. Can he see my friends? Can he see like where I've been going? Can he see what I've been searching for? Like how much access does Corey have to my account now? It's like, hey, look at what Todd's been doing at 2 a.m. Oh, I don't want you to know that. That's my private business, right? So I kind of had that moment where, you know, I was like, geez, use my account for this website. I don't know this website. So that's, uh, that's like, you know, using Google. If you ever actually bother to read all that text, it does actually say it just gives access to uh, email and uh, like a unique ID, which is your username. TDLY, isn't it? Yeah. How's that go? Uh, too long, didn't read. Too long, didn't read. TD, TLDR, that's it. Too long, didn't read. So, uh, so okay, I thought, well, what are my other options? Well, I could do the HMAC thing. Right, and write my own ID and try to figure out sessions that way. Or it was even like UUID is really hard to guess, so don't even worry about it. Like I heard both perspectives a little bit from Caleb, like that's how a lot of people do it. You have any thoughts on that, Daniel? Um, I would I would pump the eight <coughs> I mean the UUID is really hard to guess, but it is guessable. I'd say the HMAC would add a level of security that you can verify that this this particular UUID is the one given to you and not just one you randomly put in. But Gorilla will do all that for us, right? Yeah. So I thought, okay, well, how do I integrate Gorilla Sessions, Julian Schmidt's router, and App Engine? And so you could see I was like looking at my computer for a while. <laughs> yeah. Contemplating. And remember to remember, clear the memory leak. Right, you got to clear that Gorilla memory leak. So I personally, if I wasn't going to use Google logins, I'd probably use Gorilla and uh, stick my just stick a UUID in there and have most of the data just be off of my da off of data store um, instead of putting all the data in the cookie because that cookie has to come back every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So UUID is much faster, smaller, and faster. So then sticking in Gorilla means I can be sure they're not going to be messing around with the UUID, UUID either. So that's, uh, that's about where I, I stopped on that. And this is where I got. Whoa, that's really big. So it's a uh, change, 56. I thought I was at that level. Do I have to go up one more? 56, there we go. And 09. Go app serve. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. So I figured 
A, a new motto for Twitter could be seven deadly sins, one convenient location. Because you think about the seven deadly sins, you could probably find them all on Twitter. And that's like what a lot of people are doing on Twitter is judging, lusting, greed, envy, hate, right? So I thought that was pretty good. I got a little hard up here for my icon. I don't know how annoying that'd be if I just made it continually beat like that. <laughs> But if you notice, right, like Apple computers, they built in the heartbeat into the, the light when it's on, but the lid's closed. The light is just beating like a heart. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's cool, Lori. You made it. We got three minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you credit. I'll give you credit for being here. Thank <laughs> you. So then I uh, log in, and it brings me to this. This is where you guys should all go, oh, that's really nice, Todd. And I could, I could log in, or I could create an account, which just adds one more field and, you know, and then create an account. And uh, once I'm logged in, I'm able to, not able to post yet, but go back home. But that was just like basically the layout. So that's as far as I got. And there's something I wanted to have you guys do. And I hope I can remember it. I want you to, uh, I guess this is like a good one for discussion. I can't remember what I was thinking it would be cool for you to do. Um, so how, how do you think we should do this? With Ajax or just with uh, a post? I'm thinking just a post. So I want you guys to take this. I want you to, uh, what, clone my repo. Don't fork it, because I'm not going to accept your pull requests or whatever the heck. Is that the right language? You fork it, and then you change it, and then you make a pull request, right? Yeah. That's the right language. Uh, so just clone it. And then, and then at login, I want you to handle the login. So create a user account. Right, like, and store that information in App Engine. So you're going to have to look through all this and do do that that uh, you know handle creating an account and putting a login. And one of the questions for me is, what does my data store look like? What kind of kinds do I have? You know, like, so obviously I'm going to have to have a users table. So that one's pretty straightforward. But what about tweets? Where do those get? Okay, well, the user will be the ancestor on tweets, and that'll probably be its own kind. But then if I want to see my tweets, okay, I could get those out pretty easy, ancestor query. But what if uh, I want to see, like, I'm following some dude and I want to see that dude's tweets, right? So anyhow, something to think about how you arrange the data store. But the point being, this assignment will be in Blackboard, is you're going to clone this repo, and then you're going to handle the login form here and put that data into a data store. So when somebody enters their information right here, goes into the data store, creates an account, and you need to check it that that account doesn't exist already. And if it does, you got to tell the user, hey, it already exists, right? Like, as they enter a username, or as they enter, I guess I didn't give them a username, so just do it off of email, right? We'll do that as their handle, or, I don't know, jam their name together, and that will be their handle. I guess I'd need a username field. But you need to check that this account doesn't already exist. And if it does, sorry, you need another one. Give them a message. You think you could do that by Thursday? That's like a 40-minute assignment, right? It's not bad. All right, you want till you want till the end of the semester? <laughs> Somebody's like, how come you stopped giving us homework, Todd? Well, I heard you. I'll continue giving you homework. <laughs> I listen to my customers. I make modifications. So Tuesday? Till Tuesday? So we'll talk about this then on Thursday. See you all. <laughs>